In this JavaScript simple project, we are going to create a this simple typing game using JavaScript. As you see here, we have a countdown timer which count from 60 to 0 and whenever the timer reaches to 0, that means that the game is over and also tell us how many score we got. And as you see here, we have a word and an input type here that I can uh, type the word which proposes here. So when I'm done typing, I type it correctly, I can enter and it's going to uh, propose me another word and I can keep on typing uh, like this. So I didn't set any button to this project to click on and in project start but if you follow this tutorial you easily can call those function inside that click uh, on site that button on click and the game will start whenever you click on that button. And as you see, the game is over and we type forward uh, in this given time. So now we're going to write its code. But before we start writing code, just tell yourself once that you love uh, coding, then start watching this. And also make sure to subscribe my channel for more videos. So I'm going to type its HTML code, HTML. And I'm just set its title to typing game typing game so now we need some html elements which is h1 and is going to hold the timer for us that countdown timer a paragraph for word word and also an input type input type which its text is and its type is text and its ID is holder. So done. Now we need to each uh, link it to a, CS, a simple CSS file. That CSS file is so simple. We don't need, uh, I didn't set any special uh, style to it. It's just the simple uh, style file. I said here 60. So, now we're done with the HTML and CSS. We are going to dive in its fun part, which is JavaScript. So I open up the script tag. After that, I need to have access to each element of uh, HTML bar timer equal to document dot get element by oops document dot get element by ID, it's ID is timer, and we are going to do the same for word and holder. So as first I change the word, and now I change the timer to holder, so you can have access to the holder. And also change it here, change it here, say word, and this one is holder. So done, now we need uh, some variable for uh, storing uh, points or a score and also the second. So I say var points equal to zero and also don't put that semicolon. Var uh, seconds equal to 60. Now we need an array to store the words that they are represent automatically, randomly, and we can un keep on typing. So I say var node nodes equal to, and I have that array here. I will leave them in the description. You can get it from there. I just copy that and paste it down here. So now we're done. The logic behind that is to get these uh, words randomly and represent that on the inner HTML of uh, inner HTML of the word element. So here I say nodes dot we store these value these uh, values inside the node array. So I say node dot sort we're going to sort it randomly i call a function here uh, this function is going to return a random number for us return um, return my pc is 
give us this little 0 0.5 minus uh, mat dot random random so now we need one HTML one of the array element not all of them to be represented randomly so I say um, word dot inner HTML inside the inner HTML just get one of these nodes so I say nodes and put the first element uh, you can put any element you want but I prefer the first element so I save it and go to the browser and this is the project that we are working on actually I'll refresh it you'll see that our project is looking like this and whenever I refresh I get a new word here oops all are from a so working fine then uh, as you see here they are in capital letter and I can read capital letter well I just change them to lower case dot lower lower mm, to lower case so we need a function I call a function and uh, for on key press of this uh, input type and it's going to compare this word with this one whenever we type something here so uh, let's say folder dot on key press on key press and inside this on key press we're going to call a function and first of all we need to check if the holder value holder dot value is equal to the word dot inner html so if that was true well it's going to uh, generate a code a uh, random word like this one just copy this and paste it down here mm. now uh, that was true that mean that we type uh, were truly so I increase the points increment to points and also set the holder value to nothing because I because it make us to can type over and over again and now if I refresh you'll see that it look like this and if I type this word and press enter it's going to represent as a new word working fine now we need to write codes for this countdown timer so declare another function for it function uh, count down and I set it point to zero and uh, after that I declare a variable call it count uh, down down timer equal to as I call an interval here so I say set interval and it's going to be called after each second this is millisecond and every thousands milliseconds is equal to one second so um, type this countdown timer and I decrease the seconds from here then um, inside the inner HTML of timer timer dot inner HTML we are going to call the seconds so after that we we need an if statement whenever the time is reached to the seconds or timer reached to zero so if that was true this is going to alert us that the game is over alert game game over and tell us the score your score let me put it your score is and here I put the point to represent as the point around uh, by default so 
now if that was true that means that the game is over set the seconds to 60 again and also points to the six uh, points to zero again that means that the game is over and also if that was true is going to clear this a certain interval so let's say clear interval clear interval and inside that I call this variable count down count down timer that's going to delete this one and also um, I have to call this function to be called at the end count down count down my PC got so slow I don't know why save it go to the browser and now if I refresh you will see that our uh, project Will look like this so everything is fine and now I'm enjoying the game you can enjoy creating this project by watching this tutorial and I hope you enjoy don't forget to subscribe my channel I play a game <laughs> <laughs> And now it tell us the score that we got. And if I click on OK, it's not going to be a start over again. I just call this one count down. Now everything will work fine. So hope you guys enjoy, guys. <laughs> enjoy and don't forget to subscribe my channel.